So we're going to try to catch up with Louis Garneau's Global Director of Marketing, Pierre Perron, to talk about uh, Europe Car's recent uh, stage wins at the tour. Very exciting to have a Canadian company, uh, Garneau and Cervella, are at the tour, and we're going to try to find out from Pierre what's going on behind the scenes about their sponsorship of Europe Car and the recent stage wins. Uh, Pierre was recently in Japan and he's now back, and so we're just going to try to catch up with him right now and see if he's available to chat. Hey, good morning, Pierre. How are you this morning? I'm very good, very good. Very good. Your jet lag is uh, a little bit better today? <laughs> no, I, I, actually, it was pretty good. I think it's going to be worse today. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty exciting, eh? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, you were just in Japan, and, uh, you know, we talked a little bit briefly about uh, the two uh, stage wins, back to back stage wins from Europe Car. And we'd love to uh, learn more about. Uh, Garneau's uh, sponsorship of the World Tour and what happens behind the scenes and, uh, and of course uh, uh, you were just in Japan so why don't you start with a little bit of background there and, and help uh, help us learn a little bit what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, it was clear for us uh, after the uh, the experience that we had with Buick Telecom that uh, we wanted to go back with uh, Tour de France Pro Tour uh, sponsorship. So it was just a question of uh, finding the right uh, mix, the right uh, fit with the, with the, with the team. Um, that uh, during 2010, I was talking to basically all, all the Pro Tour team uh, uh, management to, to see the fit. And uh, in 2000, uh, 2011, uh, that fit came with, with the Euro Car team, and that was pretty, pretty. Uh, Pretty natural fit and pretty good fit, and the uh, uh, main reason uh, for us, uh, I think, the brand was at that level. We needed a, a pro tour team uh, sponsorship, but also um, we needed it to uh, help us develop product, uh, push us, uh, put us some, put us in, in a pressure situation to develop better project product faster. And uh, being involved with a pro team, and that, that's exactly what it does. I mean, those guys. Uh, on a regular basis, are asking for product to, to perform better. I mean, they, they spend their life uh, training and they spend their their life putting teams together and, and performing with one goal. Uh, the the, uh, the equipment right now is a uh, is a crucial part of uh, of uh, achieving their their goals. So uh, they are asking a lot. And for a company like us, uh, it, it's pretty amazing. It's helped us big time. The, um, the fact also that we uh, we are a multi-category. I mean, uh, there are no is a cycling solution, so it is adding a little bit more pressure than a, a company that's sponsoring only bike or only helmet or only jersey and bib or shoes. Um, for example, the, the sponsorship of uh, Europe Car involves helmet, uh, apparel, base layer, gloves, uh, and for uh, at least six riders, uh, it involves uh, footwear and uh, and eyewear. So imagine the level of pressure at all those level of category of product uh, to, to bring them the, uh, the latest innovation, uh, the latest product, the fastest product uh, out there. So uh, it's, it's, uh, I will say it's, it's, it's amazing in terms of um, an adventure for, for developing product uh, and, and the ultimate goal for us is always bring those product to the end user, to the consumer. So he help us uh, bring uh, amazing product faster in the market. So it in one sense, but also it's give, it give us uh, amazing uh, visibility. I mean, uh, everybody witnessed uh, the Tour de France last year uh, with, yes. uh, with Thomas Vauclair. Uh, I think I think uh, the ten days in yellow give us like amazing visibility around the world. Uh, and again, uh, this year it, 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 it's a roller, it's an emotional roller Scott coaster <laughs> for us. Uh, watching the tour, and, uh, we, we knew that the team was ready this year, but uh, like every team, uh, you, you never know uh, until the beginning. And uh, we knew that uh, Thomas had some issue with his knee, and that was kind of a, a set down for us. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. so far, we have two wins, and again, uh, it's bringing the team at the highest level. Uh, I think it's pretty, pretty amazing for us right now. Absolutely. I mean, after last year in the in the in the yellow for ten days, that must have been uh, beyond your wildest dreams. I know it's a, it's a, the, 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 the ten day of yellows uh, last year with Tama was pretty amazing for us because yes, we, we knew that he, he told us that he wanted to do something good at that tour, but we never expect that that kind of a 
uh, amazing uh, performance from him. And, uh, and there, there's something with, with the pro team, and uh, especially with, with uh, Rob Carr, they're very, uh, they're very careful with, uh, uh, I mean, at, at the beginning of every tour, we ask them, do you need uh, polka dot, uh, uh, white, uh, white jersey, white helmet, polka dot helmet, polka dot jersey? The, for the helmet, they always say, yes, yeah, prepare everything in advance, but for the team and the jersey, they're kind of, uh, they don't want to jump the gun. It's for kind of, uh, uh, we say in French, uh, the, the, uh, they're afraid of uh, bad luck, so they don't want us to prepare all the clothing sure. before. Yeah. So basically, they, they, they told us, we, if, if things happen, if we're in yellow, if we're in a polka dot, if we're in green jersey, yellow jersey, or we gotta let you know when the company needs to move fast, and that, that put a lot, lot of stress on us last year. But we managed it. I mean, uh, as soon as the summer hit, we uh, the, uh, started to wear the yellow jersey. Uh, everybody in Garno factory were, were involved to put that jersey together, sure. uh, working night shift and and developing the the, the, the yellow bib, the yellow jersey, the yellow helmet. Uh, it was pretty amazing. It it it, uh, it gave us a, a big sense of teamwork all together to achieve that. So, so we, we, we did it last year. It was great. Uh, I remember myself when when Roland, uh, uh grabbed the white jersey. I, I we, we painted a special helmet for him in one one day, mm-hmm. and I jumped in the plane and uh, meet them and uh, at, the, at the, the last time trial and jumping in a bus. Uh, the team bus and handing him the white bib and the one uh, white helmet, PT helmet. He looked at me and he basically started to cry and told me, I, I didn't expect that. So that's, that's amazing and it gives them, gives them a, an amazing motivation. So it's thing like this that, uh, that uh, bring our motivation to, to, to serve them as much as we can. It's, uh, it's like for the, uh, the, the team called us uh, after uh, Thomas won the stage and Pierre Rana this uh, this year, mm-hmm. and the the he told us, "Hey guys, we are gonna go after the polka dot. So build us the polka dot that uh, they've been put it together and then send it to you, send it to to France, and we'll do it all. We'll do everything to get that that polka dot jersey again in in, in Paris. So again, we we put all the team together and we work hard to put the the bid together and. And again, it created another sense of teamwork with the, all the factory people and all the people working at Garno. So I'm pretty, pretty, pretty proud of it. So it's, it's like I said, it's a roller coaster, an emotional roller coaster. Yes. <laughs> right now. And so the France for every company is the, uh, it's, it's the time to launch new product. Sure. So it's put, it's put pressure on the company. Uh, for example, uh, this year we, we wanted to provide them with the uh, the most technical jersey, I own dynamic for sure, but also uh, super lightweight. So we, we managed to build them uh, a jersey that uh, is uh, weighing uh, 96 grams, so under nine, 100 grams, so super light jersey, uh, treated with, with technology, cold black technology to reduce the sun reflection. Uh, it's all that technology that uh, put pressure to the company to release it at the Tour de France. Uh, the new the new boa shoes uh, that Thomas uh, will will probably uh, wear uh, by the end of the Tour de France, and we're working also uh, on, a, on a very tight uh, approval schedule to, to give them a new Iron Road helmet for the last uh, couple of last uh, two uh, stage of uh, this year. Again, it's always a race against the clock uh, to introduce a product, but again, that's what makes our company better and develop a better product and at a faster pace, so it's pretty amazing. I would say that, uh, you know, it's it's very interesting to hear what's going on behind the scenes because most of us, of course, only see the, the finished result uh, when we watch the tour or we see pictures, but we don't realize the scrambling that's going on for you guys, all the teams. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, you know, Roland, I think, is second uh, for the King of the Mountain. Uh, yep. And so that's, uh, you know, that adds another dimension for, for the expectation on the sponsor and, and what you're expected to do. And, of course, it means a lot of behind-the-scenes scrambling. Uh, and uh, I, guess, I guess that puts, uh, you know, the pressure is not just on the riders, but it's on the sponsors, eh? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean you, when, when, when we, we entered the Tour de France, at, at, 
every year. And that's something that uh, people exactly, people doesn't know it's behind the scene, but at the Tour de France, when the Tour de France starts, my, my marketing team, my product manager team are on standby all the time. Yep. They are on standby because we don't know what happened, we don't know what will happen, but they need to be ready. So I got my marketing team, uh, we have uh, 24 hours standby um, <laughs> with the marketing team uh, in Canada, uh, in the US, all the product manager. As a matter of fact, I got one of my product managers flying tonight to Europe to uh, work on some of the helmets of the, of the guy to provide them a new helmet uh, for the for the, uh, the rest of the Tour de France. So like, like you said, uh, Benjamin, it's, it, it seems so seamless on the TV, but when you look at the behind the scene, we're, we're working like crazy <laughs> to get things happen. But it, it's, it's so motivating. So sure. uh, during the Tour de France, all, all, the, all the marketing people, the product people, but even the production people like Garen are all, all like excited. Um, yeah, I, I remember last year when we were in Yellow, uh, every day during the Yellow, uh, the, during the, the time that Thomas wore the Yellow jersey, in every office of Garen in, in Canada and US, everybody was coming with yellow pieces of clothing, either <laughs> yellow footwear, yellow jersey, yellow, yellow t-shirt or yellow shorts or <laughs> yellow dress. It just to just be part of it. Sure. It was amazing to see. So you know, it's it's a sponsorship. Yes, of course, it's it's commercialization of the product, but it's way more than that. It's a it's a total involvement of, of a group of people to achieve one goal. Uh, from like you said, from from the riders, but from from the sponsor, and uh, so it's pretty it's pretty exciting. So again, it's, it, it's sponsoring a team like this. It's it's putting it's bringing our company to another level, uh, a better level. So I'm Absolutely. Pretty, pretty excited and pretty, uh, pretty motivated by that, for sure. I didn't realize you're juggling so many different products. Uh, it's good to hear how you explain the different uh, products that you produce. And yes, uh, obviously, uh, Garneau being uh, uh, a, a company that handles so many different product lines, it adds a lot of pressure. Um, it was a little disappointing for uh, for us all that David Veyu didn't uh, wasn't on the team uh, for, at the tour, but he was named as a reserve, and uh, he's he's made a lot of progress as a professional rider. And uh, I guess you would have liked to have seen him at the tour this year, eh? Uh, as as you know, and probably everybody knows, David Veyu is kind of a family member for us. I remember when. Uh, when I, uh, I made my first phone call to uh, Jean-René Bernardo and uh, we're talking about the team and our involvement and uh, I think uh, five minutes in the conversation I said, uh, but you know, uh, I, need, I need to have uh, one, Canadian, one Canadian guy on, on, on the team and, uh, and uh, he said, uh, yeah, well, no problem, uh, we, need, we need to look at it and, and who do you think should it be? And then, uh, uh, we said uh, that is the year is a guy that has uh, been working with Garneau, uh, great results. So uh, it, it happened like this, and, and we were very excited. I, I, I have to admit that I was very disappointed. It hurt me personally because, uh, I mean, David, David is, uh, is such a, an amazing rider. He's such a good guy, and for us, it was kind of a dream. But, but it's like, uh, like we, we all we, we discussed previously, and it's part of the game. It's part of the learning. Um, uh, learning to be a pro rider. I mean, uh, sometimes it happens uh, faster, sometimes it takes a little more time. And uh, yeah, I yeah, know we have, a, we have a, something that we always say to ourselves, we never give up. <laughs> so we, we have to put our sleeves back and, and, and work again. And I think that is what we'll make it to the front next year. We're, we're pretty sure about that. Um, and Bernadou uh, told him that also. Uh, just for him to to go back on the bike and get that motivation back, then he, he will made it. I mean, we we all behind him. So yeah, we definitely yeah. look forward to seeing him uh, on the start line uh, next year. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, for us, it's uh, it, it's part of the equation of sponsoring that team, <laughs> having a Canadian rider, uh, another Canadian rider, rider is doing a great great job, and we wanted more Canadian rider. That's that's one of our goal also to bring. Canadian uh, a rider to the Tour de France, and um, it's part of our mission too as a company. Uh, so you, no, we'll not give up, and uh, we're going to continue to push and, and make sure that David's on the tour next year. Great to hear. Thank you. You were just in Japan, and, and that we were we were exchanging emails around that. Tell us about the excitement there. Uh, you know, during your presentation uh, with the. Uh, 
I, that, that's pretty amazing. Again, when we're talking about timings, uh, I was, I was uh, visiting our, our um, Japanese distributor to introduce the new 2013 lines. And uh, in that line, we have a, a special collection that we call the Course Collection, which is totally inspired by what the Tour de France rider, helmet, jersey, bit, footwear, gloves, Everything that the the, 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 the the team asked us to develop, we have developed a line that, that the consumer can, can, can wear. And I was, I was in Japan to present to Japanese dealers with, with the help of my, uh, my uh, Japanese distributor to present that new thir- uh, 2013 lines. And uh, amazingly, uh, we were presenting it to the Canadian embassy in Tokyo, which was pretty good. So in flag, all the Japanese dealer, Canadian product, Canadian craftsmanship. That was amazingly, I was super proud at that time. And the second day of the presentation, I was there for three days of presentation. Second day of, 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 uh, of the presentation, uh, uh, Thomas won the first stage and, and his first stage, and then Pierre Vanna won, won stage two. So every, uh, it gave us so much momentum Sure. When we presented the collection and say, hey guys, hey, this is my new super light jersey that I'm wear to win this thing. This is a super light helmet that uh, Pierre Vanna wore at, 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 to his victories. So it gave us so much credibility at that time and people understand why, why we're doing all that. So, um, it, it, like I said, it's timing is, is everything, but this was an amazing trip that I did in Japan and I came back with uh, Great, great, and amazing feedback uh, for for uh, the Garno product from Team Europe Car. Um, and again, that's that's what make it happen when you can have all those things happen all together. Yeah, uh, and that's that's pretty amazing. So, um, so yeah, I came back uh, two days ago from Japan, so a bit a bit jet lag, but now I'm watching the tour and talking to you in the same time. Yeah, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm flying back to the Tour de France to be with the team. Um, for the last uh, four stage uh, of the Tour de France, uh, we do that every year. Louis, uh, Louis Garneau will, 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 will be with me. We go there and we spend the full day for the last four days of the, of the tour with the team. Uh, basically to say thanks to the riders and to uh, be with them, but also to debrief on, on the product and how it went and what can we do to help them um, do better for next year. Sure. Uh, our contract with uh, El Car will extend until uh, 2013, and we have uh, an optional year for 2014. So again, uh, it's for us to uh, to prepare the, the, the years and, and and provide them the best product. So we're pretty excited. So a couple of days of rest here, working with my team uh, in uh, in Quebec and in the US. Uh, and then uh, flying back to the Tour de France and uh, finalize that uh, that amazing uh, 2012 uh, Tour de France. It's um, you were mentioning that you already uh, have uh, the polka dot jersey ready in, in case Roland is uh, is the man, eh? It's pretty amazing. It's already. Uh, I just learned from my team this morning that it's already in France. They already have it in their hands. So. I hope it will not provide them bad luck, and they're very, they're very concerned about that. But they ask us, they call us, and they say, you know, Pierre, build, build the polka dot. It, it's going to give us, it's going to give motivation. We're going to put the polka dot in the, in the, in the team car, and it's going to give motivation to the guy to get it. So, uh, <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. Absolutely. Well, listen, Pierre, that's great. So very exciting. Great to hear what's going on behind the scenes and, and all, the, uh, all the excitement uh, that actually happens uh, to, to, uh, to provide all those products. And uh, like, like you said, uh, what we see is the finished, uh, uh, the finished product, but uh, yeah, it's good to know that uh, you're surviving the, uh, the pressure. <laughs> no, I like I said, it's pressure, but it's so much uh, motivation. And Benjamin, we, we're gonna we're gonna try to send you more uh, uh, scoop video. Like uh, you gotta be the first one to receive some video that we're gonna produce uh, uh, for uh, some of the products like the new roll and iron roll and stuff like that. So probably uh, ask ask your uh, your viewer to check uh, your website because we're gonna give you some good info and inside uh, inside scoop. We love to receive it, and uh, we're going to wish you all the best uh, with the team, and thanks for spending time with us, Pierre, and uh, bon chance avec tout. Merci, Benjamin.
Uh, merci, Benjamin. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.